<laughs> anyway, shall we start? Um, I am ready when you are. All right, I'm gonna three. hit A in three, <laughs> T <two>. minus <laughs> three, T virus <laughs> minus two, <laughs> one, <laughs> go. We have lift all. Indeed, we do. <laughs> Sega. Hey everybody! <laughs> hey Princess Bubblegum! Hey everybody! Hey all you people! <laughs> hey all you people! I just had a sandwich, no ordinary <laughs> sandwich. Oh, a sandwich of violence and gore! Oh, I, I does interactive. Eh? Yeah, Capcom. I <laughs> Capcom. Oh, here we go. Here's the action scene that we haven't seen anything. Yeah, exactly. Oh. How's that screen share working for you, Alex? <laughs> it's working pretty well. For some reason, I have audio coming through my TV, too. It's weird. <laughs> That's like my radio transmission device. <laughs> <laughs> so what it... What, wait, so what is this? Is, um, is Wesker supposed to just be like a ghost behind them or something? <laughs> He's like, you that film Hollow Man, or whatever is <laughs> The Invisible Man. Yeah. <laughs> With sunglasses. Like that, like, <laughs> that, it looks like that version of Invisible Man where he's just like, smoke. <laughs> yeah, except he gives it away by wearing sunglasses. <laughs> you just see these floating sunglasses. And they're like, oh, Wesker's up to it. No, don't let's play the video, okay? <laughs> oh, it's demo play, never mind. <laughs> Demo play. As Claire walks down, I guess, in a spooky underground <laughs> castle or something. Anyway, shall we shall we start again? Our start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, welcome, everybody. To, to Resident, Resident Evil Code Evil. Veronica. Resident Evil. Code Veronica. <laughs> yeah, they never do that, though, because it just sounds stupid. <laughs> Even though they do in, like, I must say, I really like in Resident Evil Zero, the guy who says it in that, because I think it's a slightly different guy, because he's just like, Resident Evil Zero! <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really good one. I love Rebecca in that game. So. Mm, I can't wait to get to it. It's fun, because, like, I mean, I don't think Rebecca has done justice by the first game, as you well know, to that kind of way. Mm. Um... Okay, audio's... Oh, what is, like, that's type A? It's like... Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with control type A. And yeah, I'm trying... Oh, okay, you can check. Um... I, like, I think the last time I had a go at this, I changed it, thinking that I'd prefer it, but then I changed back because I was like, no, I don't prefer this, <laughs> give me back, Oh, please. I think I want to go with... I think I want to go with type C because that sets the A button and the B button back to normal person controls. You mean it, you mean it, it has, like, wait a second here. <laughs> this is like, well, type this is C really... has A being confirm and B being cancel. No, so. type, ty for me, type C is, like, oh, okay, yeah, for me, type C is, like, X is okay, like, confirm, Y is maps, like, B is status, and A is cancel. Okay, that's what type A was for me. <laughs> Okay, well, like, okay, okay, we'll just let you guys figure out what we're doing here. <laughs> Obviously, that might be the Coriolis effect or something, but, like, <laughs> of Resident Evil code for Hanukkah. <laughs> no, because I want B to be cancelled and A to be okay, and oh, yeah, Y to be... Ma yeah, like, why is that backwards in, <laughs> in either of ours? Oh. <laughs> well, this is, this is the menu portion. See you yeah. next time when we start playing the game. This this is a a very complete uh, LP of Code Veronica. It's a very intrinsic and hermeneutical critique <laughs> of the Resident Evil Code Veronica. You can see by the way that they do the monitor adjustment that stylistically they obviously meant for Wesker to be a werewolf, not a ghost. <laughs> I I mean it's it's apparent to me. So. Okay. Should be obvious for all of you. <laughs> I'm just gonna start playing now. Okay, me too. <laughs> New game! Here we go. Resident. Yeah, I don't like the guy's voice in this one. It's really weird. He it's... sounds like the announcer from, like, Dead or Alive or something. Resident Evil. <laughs> Stage one. Fight. 
He sounds like a really tired camp person. Resident Evil. The city of uh, the town of S R Raccoon City. The town of Raccoon City. <laughs> I found out that there actually is a Townsville in Australia too. <laughs> the city of Townsville is under attack from the T virus. <laughs> Oh god. But, um, I was gonna say something, and I can't remember what it was. It wasn't been that important. <laughs> <laughs> I can read that news. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew what I was gonna say. Do you like the Umbrella logo? Yeah. I keep seeing these people with backpacks that are like Reebok backpacks, but like the Reebok logo is like the exact same as the Umbrella Corporation logo. <laughs> <laughs> so I keep seeing these people with backpacks, I'm like, <laughs> with their Umbrella backpacks. Oh, what's there? Oh, okay. Like, why is she getting beat up? <laughs> oh, it looks really good, though. It looks really, really good. Like. The thing is, like, this is the first Resident Evil game that, um, doesn't use pre-rendered backgrounds. Oh, okay, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it is, like, and you'll see when you get into it that, like, compared to if they had been, like, obviously, if they'd been using non-pre-rendered backgrounds on the PlayStation, it would have looked crummy. Mm -hmm. But they, but it, you know, it does look nice. Like, obviously, it doesn't look as good as an FMV, but... The character well, I mean, the, like, the cutscenes look better than... I mean, obviously it doesn't look as good as the first Resident Evil because, like you said, FMV, but it looks be much better than the second one. Oh, it looks good. And, like, the shadows are done really well and everything compared to in, like, Resident Evil 2, let's say. It just, like, cinematically, it's... It's, a, it's of a higher standard all around, I think. It's just really good. <laughs> I mean, this is the, the Tomb Raider... Resident Evil crossover, right? <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Look at those front-loaded anvils! <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought what she was gonna do was she was gonna drop the gun and it was like gonna go off as it hit the ground. <laughs> no, even better. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna shoot it like a gangster. <laughs> I don't know why, like, if she's going to go to that trouble, she couldn't just shoot them anyway. <laughs> it's like, it's like, <laughs> Black cop with a mustache. <laughs> I've this, I've this theory that all black cops in popular culture have to have mustaches because like ninety nine percent of them have mustaches. It's like it's like an ex it's an exception when one doesn't have a mustache. I'm trying to think because I I had I have a friend who is black who is a bailiff of the court. I think he does have a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> it's like in all those films, like, you're the cop that's in Sister Act, he has a mustache. The cop in Jumanji, he has a mustache. The cop in Turner and Hooch, like, the black guy, he has a mustache. The cop that's in Die Hard, the black cop, he has a mustache. It's like they all have mustaches. The only cop I can think of that doesn't have a mustache who's black is the cop in the, uh, Beastie Boys Sabotage music. <laughs> But like that's like that's going for a stretch, so yeah. it's like Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop, has a mustache. <laughs> I swear, it's a like, this might be conspiracy theory. <laughs> See, it does look really good. Like, it's actually oh, it's really spooky and atmospheric too. Mm. Oh, okay, okay, here we go, gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I haven't got there yet. I'm still oh, okay. watching the guy come in, like the black cop come into the. Um. Yeah, here we go. If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> you are equipped He's with so an eye. dark. <laughs> I can't see him. <laughs> oh, good oh my thing God. I do have a lighter. <laughs> what? What? No. Oh, if I was equipped with a lighter, okay. <laughs> see, I just went to use. <laughs> <laughs> if I were using a lighter, I could see him. <laughs> also, when did when when did Antonio Banderas turn black? I I do not know. 
Don't miss he just looks like Antonio Banderas from uh, when he was the father in Spy Kids. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually a dad in that film Four Brooms as well. <laughs> and like, it's really yeah. funny because we were saying like, that Amanda and I were watching and we were saying that Tyrell would be Antonio Banderas or something. I don't know, we had this in weird case, idea. This has been taken over. <laughs> What are you saying? You're free to leave the complex. Well, this is like, it, but you may as well it's like when, um, of getting when the beast life. is like, you can go home to your, your father. Oh, okay. There'll be one less like mustachioed it. black man in the world. <laughs> I just find it really funny that we're we we're equipped with a lighter at the very beginning. Oh, I lost Harry. So yeah, uh, hi guys, blind LP. We got combat knife. How about that? That's that co commentary. Wasn't that a wasn't that a treat? Uh, let's check the guy's body because he's. Uh oh. Hemostatic medicine. What's that? Uh. I, I saw the bullets, don't worry. But I mean, there's not m much use for them without a gun, so... <laughs> Ooh, they've got, a, they've got a dog on them. I guess I know what I'll be finding later on for use for these bullets. Where are you, Harry? I can't do this alone! <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed because we had such a humorous talk leading up to this and just... Hello? That... Hello! <laughs> I, w I, I was I was kind of freaking out because I'm like we were just joking and joshing around and now I actually have to be kind of serious because it's just me. No, I just stopped playing. So like, <laughs> okay. Well, I was wandering around for a second in case it like came back, but then I was like, <laughs> okay, I'll just stop. Okay, I I have left left the first room. Oh, I'm still checking out like Claire's um, document about herself and Rodrigo Juan Hurtal or something. Oh, I didn't even know they had that. Wait a minute. Yeah, you should go back. There's plenty. There's like plenty of flavor text to be enjoyed. Okay. Like check check the black cop with a mustache. It says I... like stuff about him too. Yeah, it said he his eyes are closed, but and he's bleeding out. I need a and homeostatic medicine or something. I need homeopathic medicine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Did you get Did you get Did you get the knife? Yeah, I got the knife. Oh, and it's a bullets? list of prisoners. My name is at the end. I didn't see that. Did you get the bullet? Uh, yes. Uh, Rodrigo Juan Raval. <laughs> Antonio Banderas. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess I was right. <laughs> oh, Alex. You call this a blind LT here. Blind my <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I knew that Claire and Chris Redfield were in it, so... <laughs> All right. I like, like, look, I mean, like, oh, you know when you're out there by the typewriter, I love the little bugs, like, crawling around and stuff like that. Oh yeah, we, I noticed them too. Because that's something, like, with pre-rendered backgrounds, you just couldn't do, do that kind of way. I'm just, like, watching the light play off the walls right now. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, it doesn't, like, it just looks good, do that kind of way. It's like, you know what I mean, it's just, it's impressive. Oh, this stairs. Like, this is the longest stairs in history. <laughs> oh, I was just trying to, like, figure out if I could pick up something on the ground, but I couldn't. And it's I like you... a bag of something or another, like a bag of crisps on the ground. I <laughs> don't know why they have that, though. So, are you guys enjoying the first episode of Uncle Drax Magical Club? <laughs> <laughs> With me, Uncle Drax, and my sidekick, Kid Drax. <laughs> Uncle Rodrigo Juan. Who are you, Kid Rodrigo? <laughs> I know, I just like walking in this game instead of running. I know, I like to kind of take it all in. <laughs> oh, can I not get the, uh, the body in the briefcase inside? Oh no! I guess not. What, did you try and go past the fire? Oh no, I haven't even... There's fire in this game? I had no <laughs> idea. No, I'm, I'm, I'm checking things out. Like, can, I can't even... Oh, okay, that fire. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see your video now. Because <laughs> I'm just like, 
just like thinking like, what fire? <laughs> <laughs> this oh, is something really that cool. It is cool, but it's like weird because it's like they're the dead arising from the graves, which I don't know, like that's weird because Resident Evil zombies aren't like voodoo zombies, they're like bio zombies. Or, yeah. Like, Jodak kind of way, so I don't know what Maybe they just see. put like the the what what is it? The T virus in in the sprinkler systems to yeah. try to kill off the weeds. <laughs> Maybe they were watering <laughs> the plants with the T virus by accident. <laughs> <laughs> like how they're just like flopping out of the graves like I even use my legs in forever. <laughs> <laughs> Atrophy Alex, that's what it's called. <laughs> oh god, Resident Evil 2 country. <laughs> Damn it, Harry, I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I think I have like three of these, but one thing I like really like. Oh, it's like I, I'm spoiled because in Resident Evil Zero you have that thing you have in Silent Hill, Joe, where you can do the quick 180. Oh Joe, yeah. Where you can, and like, they started you that and. Have... Pardon? They started that in 3, didn't they? You don't have it in this anyway, I can't remember if you have it in 3 or not. I think I looked it up. No, get off of me, zombie! <laughs> but, like, I'm spoiled because I, that's so handy in Resident Evil for getting away from zombies, because they tend to turn you around to the way you don't want to be turned mm. around. Um, See, now I want to try to get that briefcase, but I know that there's no... Um... At the risk of spoiling your blind LP, I'm just gonna say don't bother. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not gonna bother because I've already gotten bitten by two zombies. Oh! Okay, I did, like, I, I'm kind of, I'm a little ahead of you, so that's kind of like a little bit of a problem. So I'll try to like, brain myself in a little bit. Well, I just got the pistol. I've been shot at while I was in the spotlight. I guess they didn't like my acting. Yeah. So. This guy is like. I'm just gonna say, I, I really like his character, but, like, he's kind of a jerk at the moment. <laughs> he's kind of like, um, you know, your basic, like, jerk. <laughs> Bog standard run-of-the-mill jerk. But, like, he's, like, he's, he's, he's my favorite character in the game, otherwise. <laughs> Shut up. Like, you know, he just comes up and, like, waves his hand, like, put that thing away, what do you think? Yeah. Like? <laughs> I said I was sorry. I really I like Claire. I like the way... I was a prisoner like, because, I mean, it would have been so easy to make her a Rebecca, like, the way Rebecca is in the first game, you know, that hmm. kind of way. But they don't, like, you know, because they have, like, oh, she's looking for her brother, so they set it up as if, oh, she's nothing without Chris, you know, that kind of way. He's the strong one, and she's gonna be this weak thing, but it's not true that she's way not. at all. She, she kicks ass <laughs> in Resident Evil 2. Yeah, and in this game as well, she's brilliant, you know? And I like the way that they do that, you know? And oh, Jill yeah. is the same, Jill is, Jill rocks as well. <laughs> I still have yet to play Jill in uh, Resident Evil 1, so... I might be saving it for something. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, anyway. I'm just gonna look around here. I love the rain. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. No, I'm. Oh man, I'm really liking a lot of this now that I have a chance to actually like slow down and appreciate everything. And I like the way as well. Like, like if you just like, are you still in that courtyard area where the guy shot at you? Yeah. Well, like, do you see like the burning van? Yeah. Well, go behind that. Okay. Like, what I love is how the camera kind of swings oh, around. Oh, that's cool! Yeah, instead of, like, kind of... It's not Resident just Evil the sharp cut, like, in Resident Evil 1 or 2. Yeah, like, I love that. <laughs> I just like, love it is that. for a couple of areas, but... Oh, that is really cool. And it's something you really notice, because it's so different <laughs> if you're used to 1 or 2. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> no, I just went over to the thing in the corner, and I'm like, oh, check this out, maybe there's something inside. Apparently, a dust box. <laughs> I, I've heard tell of these dust boxes. Like, as I say, I just like to walk and saunter because, I don't know, it's like, this game, the atmosphere is so much more spooky than, like, you know, like, the for opening of, like, Resident Evil 2, it, like, just throws you in, and it's like, oh my god, places on fire, so she mm. turmoil zombies. So you don't get to kind of slow down at the beginning. And oh, then, yeah. like, when you're in the police station, it's like, oh, well, I'm on edge because I'm in the police station. Whereas, like, in this game, I feel like you get to kind of, you get to kind of, like, more kind of treat it as if it's Silent Hill at the beginning, and kind of yeah, this la is... languish in the spookiness, kind of, you know? No, this is really fun, just because I'm getting the chance to, like, just go around and explore. 
I can't go into the the basement behind the burned out building or below the burned out building. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Ah, zombie! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I mean, gonna shoot you! Shoot you! <laughs> I just keep thinking like I keep imagining you're like Billy's mom and I'm like Grim going like stalker Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just also imagining, like, how weird is this gonna watch? Because, I mean. You can go backwards, you silly. I, I, I'm expecting that there were two ways to go off of that first courtyard area, and I probably did not go off the same way that you did. <laughs> I don't know, like, maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting <laughs> to find I thought out. you were dead. I, was like, I don't know, because I, I always. Oh! Like, Get off of me! <laughs> did you just go into the house? Yeah! <laughs> so. I just had the same experience here. Yeah, stalker oh. Sasquatch. Okay, that's how you shoot. Oh yeah, it's like or and A. Okay. Well, no, okay. I thought it was going to be R and L for some reason. <laughs> Since when is that ever to I don't know. <laughs> or and L. Like I, I was expecting button. it was that way because it was the Dreamcast and they really like their triggers. Oh, they love them. But again, <laughs> they really do. I swear, I never used trigger buttons until I played Shenmue. Oh, Jesus, good <laughs> Well, they're made, they're made kind of like the Xbox triggers as well. Yeah, I, I like kind of squishy triggers. I, like, do like the GameCube triggers, I love them. Okay, I'm trying to figure out also if uh, Claire actually like turns around to point at zombies, because there wasn't really a good indication when I was first shooting them. Um... She, she does. will. She does. Yeah, I think there's. I think there might be a session where you can turn that off, but I don't see why you would. Just no, that's really helpful. I don't think they had that in. Um, I don't think they had that in two. So. I thought they do. I think maybe you played with it turned off. Okay. Because they have it in one. Oh yeah, no. It, I would have never gotten anywhere in one without it. So. <laughs> yeah, I remember you were so like, is there a zombie in the room? I'll have to aim to see. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Alex, I think I'll rustle something up. I'm feeling a little hungry. And it seems that someone didn't finish their soup. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go into the oh, kitchen. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a bit warm. <laughs> right for the eating. Um, the prison map is on the wall. Mm, I saw it. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> oh. I'm like, like what are you talking about at first? <laughs> but you see what I mean about like this like the opening of this game having more owing more to Silent Hill than to Resident Evil. Like it's oh, yeah. just kinda of, it's a little bit more like I don't know, it's more creepy than than Resident Evil games usually are. Because well, the they can have swinging swinging uh lamps from the ceiling now. Yeah, and you can have Oh. <laughs> that guy's gonna come alive once I get something and leave, isn't he? Oh, you you, you ain't seen nothing yet. I, if I'm in, I'm just going into that room now. <laughs> I went into the barracks. Yeah. I'm gonna grab there, that file first. That's a good file. I like that file. <laughs> it's nice bedtime reading. Prisoner's diary. I will you do the honors of reading it? <laughs> what voice should I do? Um, can you do like? You're from Massachusetts. Can you do like your New England voice? Oh, like you mean stereotype Boston like, or like? <laughs> like, like do you want me to do like Kennedy or do you want me to do like Mayor Dorchester? Quimby. Like <laughs> Mayor Quimby. <laughs> <laughs> the prison urban stories of death. <laughs> Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. <laughs> so lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. <laughs> Today, Bob told me some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss named Alfred supposedly placed him here in here because of a tiny little mistake. That must oh, there's be none little of boss. at the end. That must be little boss. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What's going to happen to me? Oh, well, I could give a good guess. <laughs> We've wait, wait, I gotta check. We've read enough of these things before. <laughs> no, no, I gotta check, because, like, my, my birthday's May 18th, and every single Resident Evil <laughs> game up to this point, everything happens around, like, May 20th. I keep waiting for something to happen on May 18th, and I'll be like, that's when I was born! 
without wanting a, gr- a group of military men took by <laughs> I'm turning into like <laughs> I'm turning into like Morgan Freeman or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> without wanting Is a group Morgan of military men in this game <laughs> <laughs> took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand guillotine stand god gu- okay I'm doing a Massachusetts accent guillotine <laughs> The, gu- the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing that anyone taken to the building, to that building, never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I better pray for Bob. Pray for Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? <laughs> All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm not so proud. Is that gonna happen to me? I can't let it. I just can't. Since last my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know I'm next. It's obvious that we were all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I gonna do? I can't call Batman. He's... It's Alfred that's doing the stuff yeah. to us. <laughs> Alfred's pulling the strings. <laughs> I get... I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna, like, um... Take one of those green herbs. I'm already down to caution. That's, the like, deplorable for me. <laughs> okay, I'm actually doing better than you. That's cool. No, I, I, got, I got, like, bad luck with those first zombies. <laughs> oh, there's a zombie right there. I'm like, Cl- Claire, why are you pointing down the hall? <laughs> Yeah, did you see that thing where he did, did he do the thing? Where he came through the window? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that And part. the tools <laughs> fell off of his belt. Oh god! Oh, tools? Um, you're in for a nice surprise. He had drills on his belt. Um, okay. If that's what you feel like seeing. <laughs> that, that, that's what it looked like? Um, enjoy. I'll, I'll just wait for you to <laughs> notice. <laughs> well, to pick it up. No, tar- don't target that thing. He's on the ground. He's fine. Oh. Worst case scenario, you're gonna stomp his head. <laughs> oh, okay. No, he had guns. Okay, yeah. that- that's cool. <laughs> um, I would counsel, like, not using it. Like, you know, it's kind of like the- It's kind of like that- When you get the flamethrower or whatever in other- other ones. It's kind of worth keeping, you know, I couldn't wait. Oh, yeah. No, I noticed, because it has the- had the 100%. They appear to be toiletries, and they've all been used <laughs> and worn out. Um, oh my god, wait a second, I'm, I'm thinking of something. Did I miss something? There's like another, uh... There's like, a, isn't there like a, a toilet in one of the rooms where it's like... Did I miss that? No, there definitely was. I know there's I, a blood-soaked sh- shower area with handgun bullets in it. No, I, yeah, no, I think it was in the previous room. There's actually a bathroom. Oh, was I'm that gonna- the open door? I'm gonna go back and check. Yeah, I think in the previous room there's a bathroom, and she like says something about the toilet or something. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in there. It's like worth it. Oh <laughs> my like... god, more zombies! Yeah, oh god. Yeah, they they like don't um pull any punches with the respawning zombies. This toilet has some rather disgusting stains. A horrible <laughs> smell lingers. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like I'm not surprised. It's like... Okay, I don't want to get trapped in here by that zombie. Zombie feces. <laughs> See, it's really, it's really weird because the the swinging light makes the uh, the, the plates and yeah. well, no, no, it, it it changes the lighting on like the bowls and stuff on the table, and it keeps looking like something shining. So I keep thinking like, oh, there's something I can pick up on the table. Yeah, I think that's nope, all you well. can do in this place. I think. Well, I'm not sticking around because. Or do you have the willies? Huh? <laughs> no. <have> the wi- <laughs> well, I, I'm just kiting a zombie around around the table in the middle. <laughs> Are you doing a conga line again? <laughs> oh boy, who's coming from below? Oh, I love that part. <laughs> Is that a dog? Oh, oh, or is it... Okay. <laughs> It's plant. I was gonna say, oh, well, maybe it's plant. Is it plant forty two? Was that the one in the first things? I think it's something like that. I'm waiting it's for it to like pop out and attack me, but apparently it's not going to. So. No, and I kind of like that because it's just gonna like it lets your imagination. It gives your imagination time to do some work. Like you're there, like it, like you're kind of like thinking. 
<laughs> well, what could it be? Like for it's it's not like it's just gonna pop up right now, don't you know? I like how I went around the the building and saw the zombie get dragged dragged under the <laughs> building, and my first thing my first thought was like, oh, "There's a hole under there. Let's go in." <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that the first time I played, I kept seeing those holes, and I was like in Zelda mode, thinking I could like crawl into them. Oh, see, I, I mean, was like in Metal Gear Solid Three mode because there are a lot of things <laughs> you can do that just to sneak around. I like like. I, I'm just like being all gone ho because this is a classic Sega Summer video and I don't want to waste time because like truly Oh yeah, like, no, don't worry about me. These no, like no what I'm saying is like that I shouldn't be wasting all the bullets I'm wasting because I'm just killing all the zombies oh. when I should be running past them, like you probably <laughs> are. <laughs> like yeah. No, like I, I did kill a lot of the zombies just because I'm not sure what's going on yet. Get off me. This guy is like in the worst spot. I hate it when like, you can't when they're like behind the corner. Oh. Hello. What's going on. No, 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 get off of me. I swear I'm gonna have a game over anytime now. <laughs> yeah, I'm still at caution. So do you like it so far? It's fun. It's it's a lot prettier too, which I really like. I just think it's a lot gloomier. Oh uh, no no no! It's a lot more atmospheric! Uh, <laughs> I got bit again. I'm not this stupid. Please deposit oh, any metallic objects in the security box, or whatever she says. What? Yeah, I get used <laughs> to hearing that. You, you like know what I mean in a second. <laughs> this is like a little like, and I was saying this, and like, remember I was saying that? <laughs> Do you remember me saying? Did you watch like um um? Like, in, Spy in one of those Spider-Man videos, I was talking about how, like, I can't play Silent Hill 1 with the with an analog stick. Oh, for yeah. Some but, like, I can play Resident Evil Zero and Code Veronica fine with an analog stick, which doesn't make any sense because they're, like, the same controls. Oh, see, I'm using the directional pad. Oh, no, I'm using the control stick, but... I don't know, I don't like the, really like the control stick on the Dreamcast that much, because I find it slippery. Oh. I find it weird. It's... I know what you mean. It's like, um... It's like, it's not like, you're like in the N64, you feel it click into different positions and things like that. And you don't really get that, it really, it feels like kind of like the ball on a mouse, you know, like the roller ball on a... on an old computer mouse or whatever. Well, now I know what you mean by the security box. <laughs> yeah! Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Did you forget to put something metal in there? It's I... like at the airport, Alex. <laughs> uh, oh, I forgot to put the lighter in. Oh, okay. I, yeah, that's the one I always forget as well. Because, <laughs> like, I'm not used to it being an actual item. Yeah. I'm going to read. I'm going to read the user manual. Okay. Okay. Don't User's worry. manual. 3D do- uh, will I be Chief O'Brien for the user manual? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> I don't think I can do Chief O'Brien. Like... 3D Duplicator User's Manual. Our new product, the 3D Duplicator, consists of two parts. 3D Scanner Wait, Portion. What? This portion scans a 3D object. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that the security box actually worked kind of like the, um... Nope. <laughs> the chests. Oh god, no. no this is way. terrible. Simply place the material that you want to have scanned onto the tray of the scanner. The grenade. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. Duplicator what? portion. If you place the material you wish to have converted onto the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scatter portion. Wait, are you reading the manual for... <laughs> the 3D printer. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> Do you... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, what manual is he reading? <laughs> the conversion will be executed with complete data accuracy. The result will be an object precisely true to the original. But like, what I find, what I, when I was like thinking about this recently, I was like, if you in two thousand, no one would have known what a three D printer was, even though they did kind of exist. But now everyone kind of knows what a three D printer is. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So, wait. Please set the material to be scanned. Uh... What am I supposed to put in there, Harry? Um, you don't have to do anything with it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, like, it's just, like, I was thinking about it, like, it must have, like, seemed like, 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 back then when no one knew about 3D printers, like, even though they did exist, this kind of a thing must have been, like, what? That's, like, something out of Star Wars or something. <laughs> they couldn't have that in the real world, even though they were real at the time. Well, I just but, had no idea, like, what to do as well, because I'm like, is this so I can, like, make copies of, like, healing items or something? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to try using it, because then I'll use, like, my herbs before I need to. No, it, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of cool. But, like, nowadays, like, you're, you just kind of don't even bat an eye it, because you're just like, oh yeah, that's one of those 3D printers. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you know? So, like... I've got a fax on the facility access application. <laughs> Did I miss that? And... Oh no, It's, no, like, there. right after the 3D printing room. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I, I was expecting something else to happen. Like, do you want to read that? Uh, why don't you? Or no, you fax... just read something. So... Yeah, you. it's your turn. What should I read it in? <laughs> Um, how about you should be, this is like, that, like, this is like when Hedonia had yeah, like, did, no, like, I know. Flower Fiesta. That's why I keep asking, because it was fun. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you to be, um, oh, can you do your, like, now that I know who he is, can you do your, like, mid-boss voice? Oh, no, oh, okay, no. I You're like think. facts on oh, the Pacific. Oh, I haven't played that game in forever. <sighs> okay. You're probably gonna watch, to, listen to this, and you'll be like, how could I ever think that was a... <laughs> no, because like, now I'm thinking, like, I'm gonna be like, my name is Lord Meyer, the Dark Adonis. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sending a fax on, like... Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application <laughs> form, and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief, Prison Guard Room, Paul Steiner. <laughs> I hereby Paul's. apply for access permission for Prison Area D. Details follow visitor's name, Carl Grisham. John Purpose Wilson. of entry? Carrying in the following materials. <laughs> New product sample from Metal, Metal Industries Company, er, yeah, Company TG01. Various daily commodities offered by the prison. Various commodities. Note. One, will use a transportation truck. Two, TG01 sample will be stored in a, desig in a designated briefcase. Oh, so that's what that briefcase was. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm, I was like, oh, like, and then that, I just imagined his laugh then after that. Like, oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like the anime girl, like, oh! <laughs> no, it's just kind of crazy. It's just yeah. like, Chris Redfield. It's like, it's, it's, just just like a, it's a maniacal laugh, but it's like a maniacal laugh you could never take seriously. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the stage <laughs> laugh. Like, I've never heard a person laugh before, but I see people write it out as ha ha ha. <laughs> Oh, here's this guy again. <laughs> Steve. Well, it seems your brothers understand. It's really annoying that they don't have subtitles. I hate it when games don't have subtitles. It's it's really funny because I've seen cartoon pictures of him before. Like, um, this is like your your story about seeing that flash animation of a <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I'm talking about. The legendary frog flash animations. Um, I've seen a cartoon version of him, and I know exactly who he is because of his pose, his posture. Hey. I was just kidding. Don't you dare underestimate Chris. There's no way he even though, like, even if he is your brother. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I, I have far more respect for like Claire than I do for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. I like how Steve's face Please, is like a cross between Leon and Chris as well. Yeah. What He's got like Leon's face, but or Chris's face, Leon's but hair. Leon's hair. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What the fuck Secret was that door. all about? Yeah. 
I think, like, there's a typewriter here. After exploring this room, do you want to, like... I think it's about time, yeah, we call it. Yeah. This is where I was planning to play up to anyway. Okay. You've taken the Hawk Emblem. The email oh, to Leon has already been sent. That's so wait, weird. is he actually related to Leon, then? Who? No. Steve. Oh, why? Why? I don't know, because it said the email to Leon has already been oh, sent. Oh, no, Claire, Claire was sending an email to Leon. But Steve was on the computer. Then Claire was. Oh, okay, I, I must have missed that, because I was paying attention to... Uh, um, I was paying attention to Steve's hair. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you just couldn't take your eyes off his dreamy hair. <laughs> All right, so call it here. Wait a second, I need to check. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> Only know first. I want to check this door. I'm really glad like that the VMU doesn't beep every time I save, like it does with uh. The door is being held Grandia by too. something. It what? can't be open from this side. What? Hello. Hello. What did you say about Grandia too? Oh, I said I'm really happy that the VMU doesn't beep every time that I save the game, like it does with Grandia too. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I just looked at the VMU. This always surprises me. It says, like, your health on the visual oh, memory yeah. unit. I just it's noticed like, that right there. It's got, like, it, like, the heartbeat and everything. That's so cool, I love this thing. <laughs> 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 and I love the way the viewers can see, like, what I'm seeing. Like, it's like my own little pleasure that they're not allowed to have. <laughs> it's crazy as well how much the original Xbox was influenced by the Dreamcast controller, because it's got the same layout with, like, the triggers and everything, and it's got the VMU slots, but you just can't see them like you did in, uh... Mm. In, the, in the Dreamcast. Yeah, because I have, like, two VMUs in my... in one of my controllers, and I have none in the other controller, so it just looks really... It feels really light, first of all. It's like half the weight that this one is. <laughs> and it just looks like it's something a kid made out of a box or something like that. Because <laughs> it's all hollow. But, um... A lock release device. Pull the lever up? Yes, I think. I don't know whether I was supposed to do that, because I can't remember whether he already did that in the cutscene. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> what? Grenades count as metallic items. Of course it is. Are you after moving on? I'm not finishing. <laughs> I was just gonna finish up the video. Alex, hold your horses. <laughs> I want to play more. <laughs> Without well, I've, got, I've, got to, I've got to finish my nice little video about the classic set for classic sex. <laughs> <Please deposit. laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video for Classic Sega Summer. If you're watching it on my channel, you can just disregard that if you're watching, like, the other video. <laughs> That's not going to apply. Because I'm just trying to figure out what items are metal and which ones aren't. <laughs> so for my beloved viewers, goodbye and thanks for watching and say goodbye to Elvix Foo. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. And now, for my viewers, who may or may not be beloved, I'll see you next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil Code Veronica. This is so stupid. <laughs> exactly. That's why it's gonna be great. It's like Uncle Drax Magic World. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with that show now. I wish it were real. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, wait. Are ink ribbons metal? Yeah, I think so. Uh, if you can push it in, it's metal. Because if you try to push in, let's say, a herb, it'll say... Um, it'll say something like, Oh, you don't need to put that in, it's not made of metal. Oh, okay, let's see. Oh yeah, no need to deposit, deposit this since it's not metal. Yeah, so that's kind of your way to know what's what. Good thing none of the clips and buttons and studs on her leather jackets <laughs> go turn the metal detector off. There's probably a, a, a hack for that. <laughs> Since it's going off from, like, an aerosol can. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to actually leave the room. It's just I wanted to figure out, like, metal and non-metal. So...